Hi, Colleen Rutledge here again, talking about the Biofilm Disruption Kit. The Biofilm Disruption Kit includes four tips. The TK1-1S, the TK1-1L, the TK2-1L, and the TK2-1R. They're all at the green mode and the low power setting. We're first going to start out with demonstrating our TK1-1S tip. I like to call this my short perio probe and for all you hygienists out there you can see why I call it that because it looks like an exact perio probe. Uh, the demarcations are 3, 6, 9, and 12. Now you'll see that the tooth that I chose here uh, and where I'm working does not have any red or our fake calculus because it's for biofilm debridement. Very very light sweeping strokes this is non-bladed, doesn't have any diamond coating. It's not for calculus removal, it's for biofilm disruption. When you go into the interproximal areas, you can turn your angle, drop by drop irrigation, and again using a fulcrum. This is great for pockets that are up to about five millimeters, I'd say. When I show you the next tip, you'll see when pockets are deeper than that, you want to move to the next tip. Now we're going to demonstrate the TK1-1L. And again, you can see this probe, um, shaped. It, actually it, it's not a probe, but it looks just like a probe. But our insert here is for um, periodontal pockets that are deeper, going to five, six, seven millimeters. You can see the calibrations are marked exactly like the short perio probe. It's 3, 6, 9, and 12. Again, same indications as for our other tip. You're just really doing biofilm disruption, not removing calculus. So a lot of times uh, when I'm training hygienists and I, they say, well, the calculus isn't coming off. And I'll say, let's see, what tip do you have? Oh, you have the wrong tip for that job. See the drop-by-drop -drop irrigation? Kind of just running along slowly and methodically, again going into the interproxal areas. Now I can't quite demonstrate how to go down into a pocket, but I think you can all understand. And this is great when they have the demarcations on here because then you have a rough idea if you have a 7 millimeter pocket if you're getting down to the base of the pocket. There are times when there are slivers of bone loss, slivers that are just the width of a periodontal probe. This tip is great for that because you can actually just place it down in that pocket and you don't even have to move it. Just let the technology work for you. Now I'm going to demonstrate the TK21R. This tip again is for posterior teeth for biofilm debridement. Again, we're just going very lightly, feather light touch. This tip looks like a neighbor's probe. And if there was a frication here, many of you who are watching this would know that that tip could just slip right into the frication and get to the base or the bottom of the frication. Clean that out very well. Something an instrument couldn't do because we've got the benefit of the cavitation and the lavage. Remember this is non-bladed, it's not diamond coated. Now we're going to demonstrate the TK21L. This again is the sister tip for the 1R, used for the buckle surface and the mesial. Again, you can see how I can just roll the tip, go to the mesial surface there. Again, it's not for calculus removal. Very, very good for forcations. shape is great for your periodontal maintenance patients who have either no calculus or very, very grainy calculus. It's really not used for calculus removal. 